All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you the easiest and quickest possible way to add a face cam template in DaVinci Resolve. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so as you can see, I have two videos imported into my timeline. The first one is just the background tutorial from last week's video. And the next one is the face cam I used for that video. Now, the reason it's not taking up the whole screen is because I actually record these in 720p on a 1440p timeline, and that's actually going to work out perfectly for this tutorial because it is going to highlight how we can actually do some cropping in case you need to do that. So to get started, we're just going to go over to the left side under the toolbox, click on effects and scroll down until you find DVE. Then you just click and drag that right onto the face cam video. From there, just make sure that the face cam is selected. You'll know it is if it's highlighted in red. And then we go to the top right corner and click on effects. So the first thing that I like to do is to make it the proper size. So in this case, we're going to click on border and then I'm just going to crop it down to the size that I like, which in this case is going to be somewhere around here, as long as it's roughly touching my right side arm for this one you'll see i'm not sitting perfectly centered then it's going to be okay and we're going to fix that a little bit later next thing i'm going to do is get rid of the top black uh, parts around it so i'm just going to keep going down until that's completely gone perfect so it looks like somewhere around there should be okay and the final thing if you don't like perfectly angular corners you can get rid of that by dragging out the corner radius that's going to round it out and just one thing to note if you set your crop width and height to be a perfect square then when you set the corner radius to one it will make a circle so if you wanted a circle face cam that's how you would do that but for mine i just want the corners rounded off just a tiny bit there if you wanted to change the color of the border we just simply click on color and i'm going to make it lime green for today's video and then the next thing you'll notice there is a drop shadow option now technically it does work as long as it's black this is you can see it's going you can see it is appearing right here if i change the angle it's moving around if i change the distance you can see it does exist but the moment we try to change the color it completely breaks and changes the whole screen to that color. So for right now in the beta version, if you are using a drop shadow, it has to be black, unfortunately. But for my video, I'm just going to keep it very, very subdued there and have just a tiny little drop shadow there. Now, the final thing we need to do is put it in the right place. So we just scroll right back up and under position, we can move that over to where we want it. And I'd like to have mine in the bottom corner, so that's where I'm going to put it. All right, so now that we've created this template, how do we go about saving it? Well, that's pretty easy as well. You just have to click on this button right here, which is Fusion, and that's going to take you into the Fusion Editor. Okay, and now that we're in Fusion, it's pretty simple. We don't actually have to do anything in here other than right click on DVE, go under settings and click save as. Now for me, I'm just going to bring this over. I already have one titled face cam. So I'm going to do cam test just so we can see that this is actually working and I'm going to save it. Now for me, just because I don't actually sit in the same spot every time, if I wanted to center myself, all I have to do is go back to video and adjust the position until I'm roughly in the middle. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so then let's check to see if everything applied correctly. And this is in fact a working template. So what I'll do is go back and I will delete that. And I'll even uncenter it by resetting its position there. Now to get into the template, all we have to do drag and drop that back in. We can see it created what we originally started with, which isn't what we want. So we go into effects, we click on fusion, right click on DVE, go into settings and hit load. Now, if I open up 
my cam test, which should be our green one, and hit OK. You'll notice it did in fact open it up exactly the way that we set it. And then all I have to do is adjust my position. And there we go. Base cam done in just a couple of seconds. And it's that easy to create the template for future use. So if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. I want to create content that you want to see, so let me know what it is that you want to see. And until next time, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye now.